Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, Lesson 8. So in this video, we're going to see how to multiply a number by 12. And without further ado, let's get started. Now, let's look at our first example, which is 13 times 12. With this example, before we do anything, we are going to add a 0 in front of the 13. So that's the first thing we are going to do. Let's add a 0. Now, we have two steps that we have to follow to find the answer. The first step is to double the number. The second step is to add this double number to the next number in the right hand side. So that's all we have to do to find the answer. Firstly, let's take our first number, which is three. Three doubled is going to be six. Add this to the number on the right hand side. We don't have anything on the right hand side. So that's basically nothing. Six plus nothing is going to be six. And we can write the six. We're going to move on to the next digit, which is one, but one, what we are going to do is we're going to double one, which is going to give you two. Add this to the number on the right hand side, which is three. Two plus three is going to be five. Let's write as five next to the six. Now, this is the part where we have to use a zero. So this is where the zero comes in handy. Now, let's write the zero. Zero doubled is going to be zero itself. Add this to the number on the right hand side, which is going to be one. Zero plus one is obviously going to be one. And we can write this one next to the five and the six to give you an answer of one, five, six. I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. I'm happy to see your smiling faces, even though I can't actually see you, but I'm sure you are. Anyway, let's go on to the next one. Now, let's go on to our next example, which is 362 times 12. With this, again, we're going to do the same thing. Before we do anything, let's add a zero in front of the 362. That's the first thing we have to do. Now, the second thing we have to do is double the digit, add this to the digit on the right hand side. So that's what we have to do. Doubling two is obviously going to be four. Add this to the number on the right hand side. We don't have any number on the right hand side. So it's going to be plus nothing, which is just going to be four. And we can write this four over here. The next thing we are going to do is going to be six. So let's take six, let's double six. Six doubled is going to be 12. Add this to the number on the right hand side, which is obviously two. 12 plus two, is 14. We can write this 14 over here. Let's write the 4. Take the 1 as a carry. Let's go to our next digit, which is going to be 3. Let's double this digit. 3 doubled is going to be 6. And then we're going to add this with another 6. 6 plus 6 is going to be 12. Let's write the 2 and take the 1 as a carry. We're going to go into our final digit. Our final digit is obviously 0. And we're going to double the 0. 0 doubled is going to be 0, and we're going to add this with the number on the right hand side. 0 plus 3 is 3. We can write this 3. Now let's add these numbers up. 4 plus nothing is obviously 4. 4 plus nothing is once again 4. 2 plus 1 is 3, and 3 plus 1 is 4. So the answer is 4, 3, 4, 4. Let's have a look at this example, which is 1718 times 12. So before we do anything, we're going to add a zero in front of the 1718. So let's add a zero. The next thing we're going to do is doubling eight. Doubling eight is going to give you 16. Add this to the number on the right hand side. We don't have any number on the right hand side. 16 plus zero is 16. Let's write a six and take the one as a carry. Let's go to our next digit, which is going to be one. Doubling one is obviously going to give you two. Add this to the right number on the right hand side, which is eight. 2 plus 8 is going to be 10. Let's add a 0 and take the 1 as a carry. Let's go on to our next digit, which is going to be 7. 7 doubled is obviously going to be 14. 14 plus the number on the right hand side, which is 1, was going to be 14 plus 1, which is 15. We can write the 5 to take the 1 as a remainder. So now let's go on to our 1. 1 is our next digit. With 1, we're going to double 1, which is going to give us 2. Add to the number on the right hand side, which is 7. 2 plus 7 is 9. We can write this 9 right here. Let's go on to our final digit, which is 0. Let's underline the 0. Double 0, which is going to give you 0. 0 plus 1, because 1 is the right-hand side number, is just going to give you 1. And we can write this 1. Let's add this number up. 6 plus nothing is going to be 6. 1 plus 0 is going to be 1. 5 plus 1, 6. 9 plus 1, 10. Write the 0. Take the 1 as a carry. 1 plus 1, 2. So the answer is 20616. 749628 times 12, that's what we're going to look at now. 
Before we do anything, let's add a zero once again. Add a zero before the seven, four, nine, six, two, eight. Now, we're going to double the eight, which is going to give you 16. Add this to the number on the right-hand side. We don't have any, so it's just going to be 16. Write the six, take the one as a carry. Let's go on to our next digit, which is going to be two. Double two, going to give you four. Four plus the number on the right-hand side, eight. So four plus eight is going to give you 12. Write the two, take the one as a carry. Go on to the next digit, six. Double six, which is going to give you 12. Add this to the number on the right-hand side, plus two. It's going to give you 14. Write the four, take the one as a carry. Go on to the next digit, which is going to be nine. So double nine, doubling nine is going to give you 18. 18 plus the number on the right-hand side is six. 18 plus six is 24. Write the four, take the two as a carry. Let's go on to our next one, which is four. Double four is going to be eight. Eight plus, ten, eight plus nine, 17. Write seven, take one as a carry. Go on to the next one, which is going to be seven. Seven doubled, which is going to be 14. Add this to the number on the right-hand side, plus four. So 14 plus four is going to be 18. Write eight, take one as a carry. And let's go to our final digit, which is going to be zero. Doubling zero is just going to be zero. Plus seven is going to be seven. Let's write a seven. Now we have to add this up. Six plus nothing is six. Two plus one is three. Four plus one is five. Four plus one is five. Two plus seven is nine. Eight plus one is nine. And finally, seven plus one is eight. So our answer is 8995536. So our answer for 749628 times 12 is 8995536. By the way, guys, before we end this video, I've got some questions for you guys to try. So enjoy these questions. And if you guys did enjoy this video, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want to see videos more like this one, subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any new uploads. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.